What's the most incredible thing you've ever seen while looking to space? Maybe you've been lucky enough to observe a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse, or maybe a meteor shower. These types of events can be incredible to see from Earth, but you are likely aware that what you can see from Earth with the naked eye pales in comparison to images that can be seen with massive telescopes and from satellites orbiting Earth. You've probably seen some iconic images of Earth from space, the Moon, or some grainy images of other celestial bodies or far-off galaxies. But today we are going to show you some real photographs that are truly unbelievable. These are 10 of the most mind-blowing photographs from space. While this list isn't chronological in order, we might as well start with the earliest photograph taken on the list. This is the first picture ever taken of Earth. While Earth's curvature had been observed prior to this photograph by the Explorer 2 balloon in 1935, this was the first ever photograph of Earth from space. It was captured on the 24th of October, 1946. The origins of this photo start after the end of the Second World War when the US Army confiscated dozens of V-2 German missiles. The missiles were taken to New Mexico with the purpose of helping to improve American missile defense, as well as being fitted with atmospheric instruments to help conduct studies after being launched between 65 and 100 miles above Earth's surface. The image was taken at an altitude of 65 miles, which is the beginning of outer space. In the following years, over 1,000 images were taken from space using these V-2 missiles. The designer of the camera which captured these images, Clyde Holliday, then analysed them upon their return to Earth, which helped significantly in scientists' understanding of geology, meteorology and photography. The steel-encased cassette thankfully allowed the film to survive a crash landing upon its return to Earth. This special image, along with many others taken with the equipment fitted to the V-2 missiles, was not only a phenomenal first in the history of mankind, but it was paramount to furthering many sciences at the time. The next image on our list is that of the glorious Hourglass Nebula, otherwise known as MYCN18. The Hourglass Nebula is the planetary nebula located in the Musca constellation in the southern sky, about 8,000 light years away, discovered in the early 20th century by Annie Jump Cannon and Margaret Walton Mayle as part of their work on the Henry Draper Catalogue, a star catalogue published between 1918 through 1924. At the time, the nebula was only determined to be a small, vague planetary nebula. Nearly a century later, Improved telescopic technologies allowed the nebula's hourglass shape to be discovered in 1991 by Romano Corradi and Hugo Schwartz at the European Southern Observatory, a research organisation for ground-based astronomy. This image was taken by the Wide Field and Planetary Camera, a camera which was formally installed as part of the Hubble Space Telescope. It is assumed that the hourglass shape is a result of the expansion of stellar wind and an expanding cloud that is denser near its equator than its poles. The wonderful and varying colours are the result of different layers of elements that are expelled by a dying star, such as helium, nitrogen, oxygen and carbon. If you suffer from kenophobia, the fear of voids or empty spaces, then you may find the next image on our list to be quite unnerving. This is a photograph of NASA astronaut Bruce McCandless, floating through the void of space, completely untethered from the Challenger space shuttle during the STS-41B mission. The photo was taken in 1984 during the first of his two space shuttle missions, and this was the first ever instance of an untethered spacewalk. The feat was completed with the manned manoeuvring unit a propulsion unit used by NASA on three space shuttle missions in 1984, with its main purpose being a satellite rescue. In layman's terms, the manned manoeuvring unit was essentially a spacesuit with a jetpack attached to it. 
not too dissimilar from how you might control a character in a video game. The man's manoeuvring units forward, backward, left, right, upward, and downward positions were manipulated by the astronauts' left-hand controls, and their rotation manipulated with the right-hand controls. Various safeguards were in place to keep both the astronaut inside the suit, and the manned manoeuvring unit's components at appropriate temperatures while in operation in the vacuum of space, including two batteries, a dozen thrusters, and two tanks containing the nitrogen gas used as the propellant. The manned manoeuvring units weighed in at a staggering 340 pounds, or 154 kilograms. After the Challenger shuttle disaster in 1986, and many subsequent safety evaluations by NASA, the manned manoeuvring unit was determined to be too risky, and its operations could be completed more safely with manipulator arms or tethered extravehicular activity. Nonetheless, this is one of the most amazing photographs ever taken. While you've probably seen a photograph or artist rendition of this next entry at some point in your life, it's so magnificent that I think it's rightfully earned its place on our list. This is referred to as the Pillars of Creation. It is a star-forming region of interstellar gas and dust, located in the Eagle Nebula in the Serpent's constellation, around 6.5 to 7,000 light-years from Earth. The nebula was originally and ironically photographed on the 1st of April 1995 by astronomers Jeff Hester and Paul Scowen of Arizona State University in 2011, it was re-photographed by the Herschel Space Observatory, and again in 2014 it was photographed by Hubble to create the largest, clearest image of the nebula to date, which doesn't only show visible light like the original 1995 photo, but also shows infrared light. The pillars of creation are truly one of the most awe-inspiring things mankind has ever captured an image of. The Apollo 11 boot print. On the 20th of July 1969, NASA astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to step on the moon. While the photo in and of itself may seem like nothing more than a simple boot print in some sand-like medium, its significance comes more so from its context than from the photo itself. This day was a landmark moment in mankind's exploration of the cosmos and this simple boot print is able to speak for itself to represent our incredible advancements in technologies and capabilities. Maybe one day, humans will be looking at a photograph of a boot print on Mars. Speaking of boot prints on Mars, our next entry has to do with a man whose work on aerospace technology may be one day in part credited with mankind's arrival on the fourth planet from our sun. That of course is the illustrious Elon Musk, and more specifically, one of the more strange accomplishments of his SpaceX and Tesla companies. This image may at first seem like an artist's strange rendition of a convertible orbiting Earth, but no artist made this. It's a real still image taken from a live stream that was broadcast in 2018. It is Musk's personal car, a 2010 Tesla Roadster which served as a dummy payload for SpaceX's 2018 Falcon Heavy test flight. The driver of the car is a mannequin named Starman. During an early portion of the car's journey through space, it was fitted to broadcast live video for around 12 hours though the broadcast ended up only lasting a little over four hours before it cut short due to the car's battery dying. Though some dismissed the launch of the Roadster as an over-the-top marketing ploy, which it undoubtedly was, SpaceX had originally sought from NASA to launch for them a specific payload free of charge, which NASA declined. The live stream of the Roadster floating in orbit reached more than 2.3 million concurrent viewers making it the second highest viewed live event ever on YouTube. Musk and other SpaceX employees have mentioned possibly attempting to retrieve the car in the future to study the effects of solar and cosmic radiation. But at the time of this video, the Roadster is more than 300 million kilometers away from Earth. Needless to say, retrieving the car will be an endeavor for another time, 
when its orbit comes much closer to Earth. Revisiting our good friends Neil and Buzz, our next image is a stunning photograph of NASA astronaut Edwin Eugene Aldrin during the first ever manned mission to land on Earth's moon. While many photographs were taken during the mission, this one in particular has stood out over time as being one of the most magnificent. Many people mistakenly assume the man being photographed is Neil Armstrong, but it is actually Buzz Aldrin, and Neil, whose reflection can be seen in Buzz's visor, is the one who took this photograph. It shows stunning detail of the moon's surface, and serves as a reminder of how lucky we are to live on our vibrant, warm planet. Neil and Buzz spent over eight days in space, and nearly a full day on the surface of the moon, along with Command Module Columbia pilot Michael Collins. During this time they collected 47.5 pounds, or 21.5 kilograms, of lunar material to bring back to Earth for study. It's estimated that more than 600 million people around the world tuned into television coverage of the Apollo 11 mission, making it one of the most widely viewed events in human history, and considered by many to be the greatest accomplishment of the 20th century. The Crab Nebula During a short period in 1054, Chinese astronomers noticed a guest star that was visible during daytime. This star was actually a supernova, which resulted in what we now refer to as the Crab Nebula. Located around 6.5 thousand light years from Earth in the Taurus constellation, the glorious nebula is not visible to the naked eye, but can be observed with low power telescopes. The nebula itself was discovered in 1731 by an English astronomer named John Bevins. The light you see isn't exactly what you'd see observing it with a telescope. Rather, the image is created from 24 exposures captured by the Hubble telescope over a three-month period. The Crab Nebula is unique from any other nebulas in the fact that it is considered to be an example of both a pulsar wind nebula and a supernova remnant. At the centre lies the aptly named Crab Pulsar, a 20 mile wide neutron star. Like the Hourglass Nebula, the magnificent colours are the result of various elements which expelled as a result of the nebula's supernova origin. The result is the magnificent image we have here of a truly incredible celestial body. One of the most monumental achievements in the history of astronomy and astrophysics was accomplished in 2019. This is the very first picture of a black hole, taken using the Event Horizon Telescope, and published on the 10th of April 2019. A black hole is an incredibly dense mass with gravity so strong that not even light can escape it. While there's still much debate in the scientific community about how these objects form, What's for certain is how very difficult a black hole is to find, observe, and study. Typically, scientists study a black hole by observing its gravitational influence on its surroundings. But this image was painstakingly captured through the work of eight radio observatories on six different mountains in four separate continents. This particular black hole is located about 55 million light years away from Earth in the Messier 87 galaxy which is part of the Virgo constellation. This accomplishment is thanks to accumulation of decades of work from scientists around the world, and represents yet another monumental step forward in mankind's understanding of the vast cosmos. Last but certainly not least is the 1995 Hubble Deep Field Photo Considered by many to be the most important image in the history of astronomy, this is a photograph assembled from 342 exposures from the Wide Field and Planetary Camera 2, which took 10 days from the 18th to the 28th of December 1995. What you are seeing pictured is a region of the constellation Ursa Major, showing off around 3,000 objects, most of which are young and distant galaxies. 
Previously, Hubble's valuable observational time was used almost exclusively to look at particular known objects. But then in 1995, Robert Williams, former director of Hubble's Science Institute, decided to attempt a deep field observation. Many scientists thought Hubble would not be able to detect distant galaxies, but Williams decided it was worth a try. So instead of focusing in on a single known object, Hubble was directed to nothing in particular at a dark part of the sky where it was trained on for 10 days. As a result, thousands of young galaxies were imaged from as far as 12 billion light years away, and this photograph has been paramount in scientists' study of the early universe. <laughs>